Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to... Well, I guess welcome to My Lovely Wife. Um, last year, for Halloween, I played a game called My Lovely Daughter. And it was a game recommended to me by a good friend. Uh, and God damn them for uh, the horrible, horrible fate that found me at the end of that game. I will not say what it was, but suffice to say... <laughs> uh, I was blown away. It's a very simple game. You're a necromancer of sorts. You make homunculi. Your daughter dies. Spend the rest of the game making new daughters. And then basically farming them until they get personality traits that you like. And then you kill them and dump their soul into your daughter. Whose body you still have, of course. Because you, you need it. Um, so we're here in... Quite a bit later, uh... And I was like, hey, um, I've got, I've got things to do, uh, got horror games to play, and would you look at that? Just in time for me to record, uh, a bunch of videos ahead for October. It's quite ahead, you can see on my purple here. Um, so this is after I've recorded most of the videos for October, I needed to fill in some gaps. Um... Yeah, they released My Lovely Wife. Alpha Stage, it's not done. One of the first questions I ever saw on the My Lovely Daughter forums was, can you date them? Can you date the girls? That was the title of the forum. And people were like, uh, gross, this is supposed to be your daughters, but one can see that a game like this, where you're constantly summoning people over and over and over and over again, is honestly pretty logical um, to have, you know, your your waifu simulators getting going. Um, don't mind this. I have a sport shirt on. Uh, I recently worked out, so I'm pretty beefed. Wow. I, Jake, the one who fell for you on the day we met. <laughs> the guy in the first game was named Faust. I'm gonna hit clear. Uh, 1227. So, yeah. Oh! He's cute. Um, definitely looks like Faust, but... Oh, man, that's really good. And the little animation he has really helps. Good morning. Are you my new manager? Sorry I'm late. Oh, no worries. You're just in time. <laughs> Thank the Celestials. I didn't want to make a bad first impression. Where are my manners? I'm Luna. I will be in your care from today on. I'm Jake. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Luna. You're new in town, aren't you, Jake? That's correct. But I won't let it hinder my work. <laughs> you really are a serious person, just like what the boss told me. Don't worry, I will show you around sometime. Let's go on with today's schedule, shall we? Sure, let's go. What a kind woman. I hope it didn't sound weird. This is the same hallway. I don't think it's exactly the same hallway. Um... They could have reused the assets, and it's a dev build, it's an alpha build, it says so right there. I wouldn't blame them. Uh, alright. Up to lesson at charm school today? I'll wait until you finish. Madame M is really strict, so wish me luck. So. Luna is five heart and zero star. So we're gonna... We're gonna... Okay, cool. And we can still speed through these things. <laughs> Take you, Luna, to be my one and only. Two years later. She got so charming, we just had to marry her. Anything good happened lately? You look happy. <laughs> oh, Jake, look at these fan letters. I never thought there'd be this many people who liked my singing. <laughs> it's because you have a voice unlike any other, Miss Luna. Ooh, he's getting scary eyes. I'm flattered. Thank you, Jake. Just stating a fact. Oh, should we get going now? Yes. Lord Willard said he needs to entertain the crowd at his hotel lounge this morning. 
Let's do it. Carnal essence. <laughs> there are lots of people from neighboring towns, so it's unusually packed today. It sure is. Are you okay? Yes, I'm all right. Just preparing to stun them with my song, that's all. This is cute. Um, See, so yeah, it looks like we have places to train their stats and then places to use those stats to get money. And the more stats that they have, the more money we'll get out of them. Pretty logical, pretty open and shut. That makes sense. <laughs> it was exhausting. Thank you for the support. I'm glad you're my manager, Jake. Yeah. I can feel my heart hammering. I have to tell her how I feel right now. <laughs> Miss Luna, I... Truthfully, I have feelings for you. Can we be more than just colleagues and more than friends? Oh, Jake. I'm glad you asked. I've been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> yes, let's be more than just friends. Well, how pleasant. We'll always love you and be by your side. Three years later. It was an amazing performance. The audience was very happy. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. Where are we heading tonight? To the plaza. No? I thought the plaza no longer hosted performances. It's okay. Tonight will be different. What will? You'll see. Oh, you can take her on a date as well. Okay. I guess this is a stroll at the park. The huge angelic statue is the icon of the plaza. People at Harbala believe it is the god goddess of fortune. And it adds affection. But, and it costs money dollars. Okay, so I imagine that, like... See, in My Lovely Daughter, all of the girls are... Like... They have a little bit of personality to begin with, but they usually only have one trait because their bodies are so simple. They can really only have one personality trait because they're not a real human. They're a facsimile of one. Um, and so the only gameplay mechanic is raising their stats with work and interning and doing stuff that'll get them more stats, using those stats to make money, or grinding the girls up and pouring the remains of their soul into your daughter's body. You have your daughter's body and it's being embalmed. Um, no idea how she, uh, Faust plans to just have everything go back to not like normal after all of the embalming his daughter's gone through. Um, I noticed that there's a lot more color here. Just I just got distracted by that. Sorry. Her eyes are piercingly green. Uh, anyway. So, that's the gameplay loop. You have girls go work and get stats. Their stats will give you more money, but it'll also give you more cool stuff for your daughter. The gold will buy more materials to make more goodies. And eventually, when all is said and done, every full moon, you can try to put your real daughter's soul back in. And depending on how their emotions are. Like, how, depending on the emotions you poured into the girl, that'll be what you get. But it's never clear what that's going to be beyond a certain extent. For example, if you've only leveled up her happiness, then she'll be laughing mad the whole time, and Faust is forced to just yank the soul back out and try again. And you can only try it every full moon, which is why the, the day cycle is important. Uh, in My Lovely Daughter, it's one week at a time, but... Um, but yeah, what you're trying to do is get the correct balance of emotions based on what your daughter was before the accident. And put, like, 70% happiness and, like, 40% sadness and 30% anger. Like, I forgot what the other one was, but... Like, raising affection and falling in love. Like, are we going to date every single one of these succubi? Because I imagine that's the gameplay can fit this time around as well. Instead of making homunculi, you're creating succubi. 
Um, and like, are we going to fall in love with every single one of them? Because I'm honestly down for that, to be perfectly frank. Very few horny games have I played on this channel, but suffice to say, I'm suddenly a kind of steward of them. Uh, wow, I've never been to this area of the plaza. The podium is so beautiful. How did you find this place? <laughs> I was following a bird. A force of habit, I guess. <laughs> That's one strange habit. When I was little, my father often brought me bird hunting with him. I even keep his rifle in my house as a keepsake. Okay. How literal can a Chekhov's gun be? It's literally a gun on the mantel plate, on the mantelpiece, just as playwright Anton Chekhov described it. This isn't even the first game this month I'm talking about Chekhov's gun. Jesus. <laughs> is something the matter? No, it's just it's the first time I've ever heard about that. So is this where I'll perform? I don't see any audience. No, Luna. You're not going to perform tonight, but you'll still be the star. Question mark? We've been together for a while, don't you think? I've been meaning to tell you this, Luna. <laughs> that all my happiness be yours and all your sadness be mine. Oh, that's cute. The whole world be you, yours and only you be mine. Will you marry me? So is this a total of five years till death do us part? Ooh. Is this a total of five years later, or is it just three years since the inciting incident? I guess it must be this is a total of six years later. And the three years was three years after the last scene. The two years was two years after the one thing. It's all right. Honey, I have to go out to sort the problem with Madame M now. Okay. Who will be accompanying me today? The boss will help you out. Don't worry. I will be coming back late, so you go home first, okay? No problem, honey. Take care. What are you some... So what should I do today? Oh, I guess this must be her, her affection, and it's full now, which I guess makes sense. I'm going to Willow's Hotel. Hmm, I'm intrigued. I'll send her to go be with Jake, because that makes a little more sense to me. Hopefully the full game will have mouse overs for these. Oh, I can keep going. I guess I'll do both. Uh, hopefully this... Um I mean, let's be frank here. I imagine that this, you know, this moment, your wife is out of your sight, you know. Jake no longer has eyes on his wife. This is going to be the inciting incident that causes his wife to die, which is why he's summoning Succubi. I guess it's time to go back home. Honey, I'm home. What's that sound? Could it be a thief? Who are you? Get away from her. I mean, that's a human-shaped hand. I've never known a human to do that kind of work with his, you know, bare hands, though. No. Oh, Lord. So I guess that's the impetus, huh? But yeah, as mentioned, the arm is gray, which is not a typical human skin tone. Um, wow. Just way better art here. Oh, he's quiet. Poor baby. See, the thing about Faust is that he's kind of a dickhead. Um, Faust, the main character in the other game, like completely willing to take all of these girls out on, on like lovely father-daughter dates and like buy them toys and games and candy and, and like send them on nice fun things to do and then he also has a plan to kill all of them no matter what and what's more even goes out of his way to do so in a very like in a way easiest to him like there's a bee girl that you can make and he floods the room with insecticide uh, and locks her in it. Or, like, 
he d- he leaves a simple like clay homunculus girl outside and then a rainstorm starts or he tricks the metal homunculus into crossing a river and she's unable to like stay afloat and drowns etc cetera, etc cetera. this guy's a lot more caring emotional not a sociopath you know not in fact a, a fucking maniac I, sh- I should be clear here like not to give a bad name to sociopaths or anything but like Faust in My Lovely Daughter is a straight up super villain who was that why can't I remember no matter how many times I'm questioned it's also hazy Ugh. Luna I'm sorry I killed you with my own hands I can't bear this this is too much what's this a letter question mark exclamation point in fact it can't be from Luna okay I'm not reading it yet I'm not reading it yet. And I'm trying to stave off the urge to make reference to Silent Hill 2. But come on. It's a it's a letter from your dead wife after she's been murdered. Like, come on. It's Silent Hill 2, right? Okay. I'm opening my eyes to read this letter. Dear Jake, parting with you is the last thing I would ever want. Yet when my time comes, please know I'd never leave you alone. Wipe away your tears as someone will come to aid you on my behalf. Their words are my words. Listen to them carefully. A wedding for the days when my life can be filled with your smile again. Loving you always, Luna. Oh, interesting. Because again, in My Lovely Daughter, Faust is the impetus for almost everything. In fact, it's almost assuredly his negligence that causes his daughter's like death to occur. And the rest of the game is him hurting as many people as he needs to to solve his own problem but with this this is a freak accident unless you know a twist about who the mysterious arm hand is comes into play but this is a freak accident and the wife is the one with the power here the she's the impetus this was you know she had a a a backup plan in case she ever got caught it's her handwriting i'm sure it's her for now, I will do as she says. Who would come at this hour? I guess the letter would indicate, right? Mr. Jake, are you home? This guy's cool. I like the lack of mouths. Um, I will say, uh, a-, a thing that someone pointed out to me recently, Japanese emoticons don't have mouths. They just have the eyes. Whereas American emoticons have always a colon for the eye, and then the mouth is what determines the emotion. So with a Japanese emoticon, if you want to say you're excited, you hit shift, and then on a standard QWERTY keyboard, you hit the six key twice. And you get those two little up arrows to be like, you know? Um, And it's interesting. It means that you just need to rely on the eyes to give you any sort of information about these characters' moods. You can't have, like... Like, it's not that they're faking a smile. It's that they physically can't. You need to rely on this to tell you what they're doing. Who is it? Mm. I apologize for the intrusion. Please let me introduce myself. My name is Philip. I'm a researcher from a neighboring town. Was Philip in the other game? I don't remember. It's been, like, more than a year now. I've come to talk about something important. It's related to your late wife. What about my Luna? Let me cut to the chase. I'm actually researching something called carnal essence. This guy fucks. And and as though it was left unclear. Like, I would have mentioned it when I saw him, but like, come on. It's a substance with enormous p- potential. Maybe even capable of resurrecting humans. Are we going to get into odic force? Or orgon energy? Because, like, the other game has a bit of pseudoscience that's turned into alchemy. But, like, I'm excited by that. <gasps> Wait a minute. Don't tell me you're suggesting. <laughs> Everyone is concerned with your well-being, Mr. Jake. I'm here to help you. Tell me. What can I do? Please accept this research paper. It contains everything about my findings on the substance. Oh, yeah. Similarities to... uh Uh-huh, yep, there's the classic one. And here's the new one. And this is the symbol he's wearing, this, like, kind of squiggly horn shape. (gasps) 
Summoning a succubus? What does this mean? Hmm. By doing a certain ritual, you will be able to summon succubi and order them to collect carnal essence. Collect it? How exactly? You might want to take them to Lord Willard. He knows what to do. After all, many people come to his hotel for an appointment with a succubus. What in the world is Lord Willard's business? <laughs> well, while I do my research, will you help me collect carnal essence, Mr. Jake? I can still bring her back. <laughs> I understand. In that case, I'll give you some materials needed to summon a succubus. All right. Now we can get into it. But I have been recording for 20 minutes, and I don't want to blow through this uh, demo too quickly. Um, but I'm juiced. So uh, we'll be back here next time. Uh, next week, in fact. Until then, I've been Alfred. Uh, this has been My Lovely Wife, the long-awaited sequel to My Lovely Daughter. Uh, thank you all for coming. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs>